At Michigan State's College of Veterinary Medicine, we're leading the charge against cancer, a disease that touches every family and every community, whether the patient has two legs or four. Here, veterinary and human medicine come together, each informing the other. Right now, we're on the edge of discoveries that could change the future of care. We are working on cancer treatment and care in several different ways. Just in the clinical aspect, our veterinary oncology team is growing, which is really exciting because we've been building it over the last several years. Extending out of that is our clinical investigation center, which is going to allow us to provide clinical trials. MSU will be the first place to have pet MRI available for companion animals. And this is the kind of tool that can be diagnostic, prognostic, and even therapeutic. At the heart of this work is the MSU Veterinary Medical Center. It's where advanced treatment, specialized care, and clinical research come together, improving the way we treat cancer today while shaping the therapies of tomorrow. The patients we see here not only receive cutting edge care, they help us learn what works, refine treatments, and bring hope to future families facing a cancer diagnosis. Walter, I met about a year ago at this point. Um, he came in, he was the most delicious three month old um, male Labrador puppy. He actually had been born with a tumor on his ear. After his tumor went to be evaluated on biopsy, we found out that it was a pretty aggressive particular type of mast cell tumor, which is unsurprising because it was growing quickly. And so Walter then went through chemotherapy. In Walter's case, I realized that there was nothing published on what chemotherapy does to a young maturing skeleton. And so instead I went to the human literature because certainly we know that children develop cancers and are treated with chemotherapy and then many go on to live long lives. So with Walter's family's permission, we were fortunate to be able to take x-rays of his forelimbs every month. And so that allowed us to really track over time what his skeleton was doing, how his growth plates were maturing. Now he's a full grown adult boy. Our Center for Imaging and Image Guided Therapies is detecting and treating cancer with greater precision, locating tumors earlier, and delivering targeted therapies that improve outcomes. This type of innovation is possible because of the expertise, technology, and collaboration that happens at MSU. I'm super excited about recent developments over the summer of 2025, using bismuth 213 that we were able to obtain from a novel generator system for the first time. It works much faster than we thought that it would, and it's uh, effective at doses that are even lower than expected. Behind me, you see the clean room, which is part of the radio pharmacy, where we manufacture and release radioactive drugs for imaging and therapy. This is a unique facility at MSU that was just completed after several years of construction. I think most uh, owners of companion animals would be pleased to have new treatments and to be part of a process where the testing can uh, prove to enable new therapies for humans as well. It's collaboration that moves research from an idea to a breakthrough, linking the insights of clinical oncology with the discoveries happening in the lab. And MSU is uniquely positioned to lead this fight as the only veterinary college in Michigan with the university's top medical schools and science departments alongside us. We have the network and expertise to drive discovery further and faster. We don't just imagine a world without cancer. We're building it. Every discovery moves us closer. Every breakthrough means fewer families facing the heartbreak of a diagnosis. And every advancement creates hope where there was once only fear. With your continued support, discoveries will advance faster, reach further, and touch more lives than ever before.